I'm wearing an eight-gallon hat. Should be a ten-gallon hat, but the producers are trying to save a little money. Oh, excuse me, sure. Buzz Creek, Montana, home of the world-famous Wild West Museum. Not much, is it? In fact, it's the only museum where the building is older than the exhibits. The people of Buzz Creek depend upon this museum for their livelihood. Admission is free. That tells you something about the people of Buzz Creek. Finally, they got smart. They doubled the admission price. That tells you even more about the people of Buzz Creek. Ordinarily, I don't stand in water like this, but they tell me it's an important part of the story. And they told me it would catch your interest. It's catching your interest, and I'm catching cold. Enjoy the show. I'll talk to you later. signalman, huh? He's five times bigger than a locomotive. I can't believe they sent me this. Uh-huh. Uh, uh, Mayor Dubin, I'm afraid we got a big problem up at the museum. I don't know what he needed the lantern for. He's 50 feet tall. I think he ought to come right away, sir. They've dammed up the river. See? I told you. It's all underwater. Why would they do such a thing? So those fat cats up in Merson County can irrigate all their country clubs. That's how come. This town meeting is now in session. Ruder will read the minutes of the last meeting. Let's see here. Eight o'clock. Eight oh one. 802. Excuse me, Mayor, I'd like to make a motion. Yes, Eli? I move that from now on you can't be recording, Secretary, if you're brain dead. I second that. Well, it really doesn't matter because probably this will be the last town meeting ever. Oh. Oh. Look, we've got to be realistic. The museum is underwater. Buzz Creek doesn't stand a chance. You know, the ironic thing is, if the town had been flooded instead of the museum, we'd be all right. We'd be eligible for millions of dollars in federal disaster aid. Well, now, why can't we just say the town got flooded out? Just lie and take the money. Well, I figured they owe it to us. Hold on, hold on. Nobody's going to believe we were hit by a flood. We're up on a hill here. Earthquake. Pretend we were hit by an earthquake. That sounds so crazy, it might work. All we have to do is wreck a house. Wreck one house. Then we rent one of those video cameras, and we make movies of everybody shaking. And then we put in a claim, and sit back and wait for our check. Just a minute. You people are talking about lying. You're talking about defrauding our government out of millions of dollars. This is a mortal sin. This entire town is risking hellfire and eternal damnation. So you're opposed to the whole idea? I didn't say that. Then it's unanimous. Buzz Creek has been wiped off the map by an earthquake of monstrous proportions. Congratulations. <laughs> uh, Silas, I want you to call your uh, nephew at that fancy college in California. He probably will need his help. Hey, excuse me, Hank. 
You mentioned something about wrecking a house. Whose house did you have in mind? I had a picture of my mama, a jackknife, Everything I loved was in that house. Well, Ruder, why didn't you take those things out before they bulldozed it? Can you do that? Priscilla, how high does that Richter scale go? It goes up to 10. That's um, total destruction. That's what we want, total destruction. That's oh, it. Yeah. 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 Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it a second. I don't think we should have that much attention drawn to ourselves. I think it should be a little less than 10. How about 12? All set, Uncle Silas. Okay, go. Okay, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. of the movie Earthquake. I figure we can splice some scenes from it here into our movie. Make it look even better. Perfect. Perfect! Okay, if you'll turn to the second page, you'll see a detailed description of what it's like living through a 9.5. I think we ought to go through it together. Suddenly, there was a big, rumbling noise. Suddenly, there was a big, rumbling noise. No. Rumbling noise. It sounded like the end of the world. It sounded like the end of the world. And then everything started shaking, like a bowl full of jelly does when you wiggle it with your finger. And then everybody started shaking like, like a bowl full of jelly does when you wiggle it with your finger. With your finger. Very good. I think we're ready. Minister, would you like to say a prayer? Dear Lord, you know that commandment of yours about lying? Well, we're about to shatter it into a thousand bits and pieces. And I just wanted you to know it wasn't my idea. Amen. Amen. That's right. The signalman is five times bigger than the train. What do you mean, pretend that the train is far away? Check came in! That didn't take very long, now did it? <laughs> well, how much is it for? Did we get everything we wanted? Uh, there, there, there's no check here. Oh! oh. Says they're going to send a federal investigator to verify our claim. <gasps> hey, there's there's no need to panic. They'll send some flabby old bureaucrat up here for a few minutes, and it'll be fine. <laughs> Oh, 
Junior High School have to be completely rebuilt. Is that Charlton Heston? That signalman looks like he's 50 feet tall. Something smells funny here. That would be me, sir. <laughs> now, you claim this quake measured 9.5 on the Richter scale? Yes, yes, sir. And Mr. Richter himself called up to express his condolences. Charles Richter called you up? Uh, yes, sir. Field agent 527. Looks like my hunch was right. These people are definitely hiding something. Everything all right, sir? I'd like to inspect the damage personally. Sure, right, sir. No problem. Want some coffee? <laughs> Same house. No, 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 hey. No, oh, sir. Different house, sir. Different. Trust me. <laughs> now, you say you were eating your dinner? Yes, sir. Funny. Everybody else I talked to said the earthquake occurred at 7.30 in the morning. Would you excuse me a second? Two jobs, see. I'm very busy. So what I do is I eat all my meals in the morning. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. That way I don't have to stop later. And then suddenly I heard this sound of uh, a big rumbling noise. And then and then everything uh, started shaking. Uh, like a bowl of jelly does when you wiggle it uh, with your finger. Oh, my goodness! Hold on! Hey, shock! Hold on! Don't worry about a thing! Hey, 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 hey,
He suspects something. I just know it. Well, hell, Silas, he'd be a damn fool if he didn't, the way we've all been acting. What are we going to do? If only I was just a few inches taller. Well, how would that help? Oh, it wouldn't really. I was just thinking out loud. Well, go on. Look, the point is, as soon as that investigator files his report, it's all over. Somehow, we've got to thwart him. Yes, he must be thwarted. But how do we thwart him? How about we give him a tour of the Wild West Museum? But the museum's underwater. Exactly. We're not going to murder the man. That's right. Besides, they'll just send somebody else. Oh, how about we offer him a bribe? No, he's not that kind of man. Well, no, he might not be that kind of man, but still, he is a man, if you know what I mean. What? Are you suggesting that Priscilla offer her body to a stranger? That she try to buy him off with sexual favors? We have no right to ask Priscilla to degrade herself like that. I don't mind. One second. Hi. Hi. Thought you might be getting lonely in a strange town. your glasses. Oh, I only use them for reading. And I don't think I'll be doing any reading tonight. You know, I've had my eye on you ever since I came into town. Really? Me? You must have felt it, too. That spark, that, that chemistry. Say when. I don't think we need any more wine. You're right. Just having you here is intoxicating enough for me. Did the earth move? Priscilla, no. The Earth didn't move. Uh, uh, what do you mean? Priscilla, I know what you're trying to do. You're trying to seduce me. And if you think I'm gonna let all of you off the hook just by sleeping with you... How could I be so foolish? You're leaving? I didn't say that. Suppose there's anything we can offer you to tear up your report. Money? Spiders? I got over 20 spiders in here. I hope you people have learned something from this. You tried to defraud the United States government out of millions of dollars. The only thing you accomplished was you managed to make a disaster movie without George Kennedy in it. But there's one thing I can't abide. It's lying. And for using the film Earthquake, you're all subject to arrest by the movie police. I'm going to see to it personally that each of you is prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. Y'all come back again real soon, you hear? What's that? What? That thing. Oh, we used to have a Wild West museum there. But the next county dammed up the river and flooded us out. 
That's what this whole thing's been about. We can't make a living without the museum. You mean the dam destroyed your sole source of income? Well, then you people are entitled to federal economic assistance under Title 584. You mean we did this whole thing for nothing? That's right. Just fill out these forms. You should have your money by the end of the week. <laughs> Two, four, six, eight. Who do we appreciate? Him. Him. The guy in the brown car. Goodbye, Ethelbert. <laughs> Oh, one thing, folks. If there's something you've got to promise me first, you people must never lie again. Do you understand? Never. We promise never to lie again. We, we promise, promise never, never to lie again. Never to lie again. Never, ever. And this, of course, is the world-famous underwater cathedral. Oh, I wish you people could see it. It is truly magnificent. Over 17 acres long, with more than 12,000 individual handcrafted stained glass windows. <laughs> we here at Buzz Creek like to think of it as one of the eight wonders of the world. This is a very pretty town, but I wouldn't want to buy a used car here. I think the moral of the story is pretty clear. Honesty is always the best policy. Unless you're absolutely sure you can get away with it. <laughs> Never should have stood in that water. See you next week. You bring the tissues. Goodbye. Shriver, Secretary of State George Shultz, Marcello Mastriani, and Harry Belafonte tomorrow on the CBS Morning News.